Good morning, class. Our lesson for today is about factors that affect HRP. There are seven factors that affect workforce planning. These seven factors sometimes have a positive effect and sometimes have a negative effect on HRP. The important thing is that the HR unit needs to catch up with their workforce plan in any changes that may happen with these seven factors because otherwise all the plans will be ineffective. The first factor that affects HRP is the company's goals, objectives, and strategies. The HR does not simply plan without being aware of the company's goals and objectives. Because every plan they have has something to do with accomplishing those goals. It's not right that they just plan without considering goals because there can be many negative effects if that's the behavior in a company. If their plan is fruitful, they will say that that is really their target. But when it doesn't turn out to be fruitful, they will say it's okay because we don't have a specific target anyway. And with that kind of management, it is clear that their company has no clear destination. Once their employees are given a good job offer in another company with a clear direction and destination, they will not hesitate to resign and just move to that company. The company's mission takes a long time before it changes and it happens when someone dominant in the management is replaced. Or maybe there is a new member in the management who is too dominant. And when that happens, there will be changes inside the company depends on the passion of those who are in leadership or depends on somebody who is the most influential in that board of directors or the executives. And when that happens, there will be a big or widespread adjustment in the part of the HR. The goals and objectives are always temporary. When it is accomplished, there is a new one. Or when it's not accomplished according to the time frame, it is replaced by a new one. When those things happen, the HR will immediately adjust to position the workforce in account accomplishing the new goals. The same goes for the strategies that management makes for the company. The company's strategies will be exercised by the workforce. It is the HR who plans which workers to be assigned for specific assignments and how those workers implement the strategies. If these strategies suddenly change due to an unexpected circumstance, then an adjustment will also happen immediately in the side of the HR. The second factor that affects HRP is the time spent for planning HR needs. A plan regarding the workforce that was made only for a short time, that plan may not be well cooked and it may change immediately when it is implemented because 
when there is not enough time to plan, many important things that should be considered will be overlooked. So HR always plans ahead. They are planning for the future of the company from the present in terms of workforce. They're not waiting for the future to arrive before planning. But the future is already planned before it arrives. This is where a company has an advantage when its HR unit plans the company's human resources needs in advance. They will be the first to recruit employees from the sources of good applicants. The company's operations will also not be affected because there are replacements immediately when the skilled employees retire. But there are times that only a short period of time is available for planning HR needs. For example, the company suddenly acquires another company or a sudden merging with another company or maybe a sudden opening of a branch in another place. In such a case, the HR unit has a valid reason if there is an error in their workforce plan. That is a big challenge for them to suddenly plan the company's HR needs in a short period of time. But as time goes on, the plan will be polished because the mistakes will be corrected little by little. The third factor that affects HRP is the uncertainties of business activities. There are times when an activity that is being done in a company is suddenly stopped due to uncontrollable reasons. And if that activity has many workers assigned, it is not that easy to assign them to another assignment because that depends on their skills and abilities. At that point, the human resources plans that has been made by the HR has already changed. There is also a possibility that the flow of the workforce is good in the various regular activities of the company. Then suddenly, the company added a new activity because maybe it is necessary. In a case like that, the human resources plan needs to be changed immediately because if not, there will be conflict between the management and the HR. But I believe that when an HR, an HR officer or the HR director is an expert, he or she will not be surprised in such a case. Because he or she already knows what to do to accommodate the new activity without affecting the existing activities. But the point is, the uncertainties of the company's activities really affect the HRP. The next factor, the fourth one, that affects HRP is the exactness of forecasting manpower or the, the exactness of forecasting manpower needs. No matter how good an HR officer is at forecasting, the prediction is not always accurate, even if the scientific methods of predicting is followed. And whenever the prediction is not 
accurate, the workforce plan changes to handle the forecast result. If the forecast result is accurate, then it's good. The plan will continue. But if it results in an oversupply of the workforce, the plans will change and for sure the HR has already had a plan, plan B. If it results in an undersupply of workforce, then for sure the HR has a plan C. The forecasting of HR needs is not easy to do but the company will not be competitive if the HR does not do it. So the only choice is HR officers should not or should do their best when it comes to forecasting HR needs. And when it is being done regularly, then it will become basic as if there is nothing difficult in doing it. The truth is that HR officers are no longer surprised by the outcome of their first casting because they already know what the outcome could be. It's either accurate, oversupply, or undersupply. If they are familiar with their company situation, they already know the possible solutions regardless of the result of their forecast. The fifth factor that affects the HRP is the structural design of the company. HRP will be easier when the HR is familiar with the structural design of the company because it is easy to track the employees and their specific assignments. Imagine this. The HR has already planned a strategy on how to handle each employee efficiently. Then suddenly the structural design changes. When that happens, HR should go along with the change that happened. Otherwise, the company will be inefficient or ineffective. It is inevitable that there may be a change in the structural design of a company, especially if the company continues to grow or continue to fall. There is much to add or much to remove. A growing company can suddenly start or acquire another company. And when that happens, the HR will do extensive HRP. The company that is falling may suddenly be sold to another company or be merged with another company. If that happens, HR will do extensive HRP. There are many other reasons that can cause a change in the structural design of a company. And the HR officers know that already. So they are prepared for such an event. And in the situation of their company, they can, they can see the possible opinions or they can see the possible choices or options once the structural design has changed. The sixth factor that affects HRP is the internal and external availability of manpower. When HR plans not to hire staff from outside because there are many potential workers within the company, then one of these potential workers had an accident then the others resigned and and others got married and needed a vacation and other reasons for their separation from the company when that happens the plan made by hr is already affected 
it may also happen that HR has recruited staff from the outside and has plan has a plan as to who will be chosen and maybe some of them are just waiting for a job offer then the growth of the workers inside the company suddenly accelerated when that happens the hr plan can be affected one of the things that hr considers is that it is possible for them to have an oversupply of staff skills but under supply of others they will consider that the workers who accelerated the growth if not given opportunity might look for an opportunity in other companies for them to use their learned skills then the influential political leaders will intervene to recommend workers for specific positions influential employees within the company will even recommend their friends or relatives hr officers will struggle in that situation especially if they have already found someone who is more qualified and capable for that specific position the the last factor that affects hrp is the preparation preparation period of positioning talents when it comes to positioning employees in their assignments the hr plan may be affected depending on how quickly or slowly they learn the skills they need to perform their task if employees are slow to learn hr needs to adjust its objectives and they may have to accelerate the training of the slow ones by assigning additional and better trainers when employees learn quickly hr also needs to adjust its objectives because they will be accomplished those goals will be accomplished before the time frame there are even times when the performance of a newly hired employee is below average and the entire operation of a department is already affected there is no other choice but to find a replacement it would be nice if the replacement found is really good because it is easier to adjust the plan if an employee is capable than to adjust because the employee is incapable all right we have finished this lesson for now and it's time for you to take the quiz in iconnect the reference that i use in this lesson is the book human resource management principles and practices by Dr. Doris P. Lauron.